Hi and welcome once again to Channel Fish. In today's video we are going to discuss the international date line and we're going to try and answer two questions and the first question is why is that international date line there in the first place? The second question, why isn't it straight? So let's have a look at a map and there you can see the international date line and it isn't straight. Before I'm going to try and answer and explain those two questions, I would like to share a fun fact with you. But firstly, just some background in case some of you didn't know this. This international date line is the dividing line between two consecutive calendar days. So on this side of the line, it might be Wednesday, and on the other side of the line, Thursday. So in other words, if we are just to the right of this date line and it's 4 o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon, then if we cross that line, then it will be 4 o'clock the next day, Thursday, on the other side of the line. So here is the fun fact that I want to share with you. It is possible to switch over three times between two consecutive calendar days by flying in a straight line. So how is this possible? Let's have a look. If you look at your map and if you're on a plane and you fly in a straight line between those two points, if you start at point A where it's Wednesday, if you fly straight you will cross the line and you will enter Thursday. If you keep going straight you will cross the line again and you'll be back into Wednesday. And then you just keep going, you cross the line again and it will be Thursday again. So I find this very interesting and maybe it already gives you an idea of what this line is all about. Right, so we are going to use Google Maps and what we can see here is, let me just zoom out a bit, this is the international date line going from north all the way down to the South Pole and there we can see Australia, these Asian countries there to the west of the line and to the east we have North and South America. Firstly, why is the line there? So I'm going to use Google Earth in order to explain this and the first thing to note is this line of longitude, the prime meridian or the Greenwich Meridian, it's at zero degrees longitude and then right on the opposite side, uh, uh, on the opposite side of that prime meridian we have the anti-meridian and there you can see the name and uh, this is the 180 degree line of longitude and this is where we find that international date line and we've also seen that it deviates from this 180 degree line of longitude uh, well quite a bit in, in a few places but in other places it actually follows the line exactly but we will discuss this in more detail a little bit later the next thing that we need to understand is that if we travel to the east we gain time and it makes sense because the sun rises in the east it goes down in the west so if we go towards the east we go against the movement of the Sun and so we gain time time goes by faster but now some people might say hang on so if we simply go on a plane and we fly in an easterly direction and we keep doing this for a few days we will gain more and more and more and more time this doesn't really make sense because if you're on that plane and if you land and you talk to the people on the ground they'll say hang on where we were on the ground time has gone by as always and so this is why we have that international date line there so that you can't simply gain more and more time by flying in an easterly direction so what happens is this if it's Thursday on this side to the west of the line and you fly and you cross this line the moment you cross the line you go back into Wednesday the opposite thing will happen if you fly towards the west if you fly from Africa towards the west you lose time so time will go by a lot slower and now you might think you'll lose more and more time by just flying towards the west but when you cross that line if it's Wednesday on this side of the line you will advance into Thursday by crossing the line so now we know why that line is there it's basically 
to uh, help us not to be confused about gaining and losing time depending on which direction we are flying. And so let's go back to Google Maps. Right, so now that we know why this line is there, we need to ask ourselves why isn't it straight? So firstly, this line doesn't cross any land. It's an imaginary line, of course. But if you go all along this line, and if you could zoom in, it's a pity that the line disappears when, when you zoom in. But if you could, you would see that it doesn't cross any land whatsoever. Now, it's quite simple, or it makes sense why this line isn't straight. Firstly, the stop section, I'm just going to make it clear because it's quite faint in Google Maps. This section here where it starts right at the North Pole, this is straight and it follows that 180 degree line of longitude exactly. But then it deviates to the right. And why is this the case? It makes sense. We have Alaska over here and Russia there. So it goes right between Alaska and Russia. And obviously you can imagine that if it crossed Russia over there, then it would mean that one part of Russia, the, the part that would have been on the to the right of this line, would have been on a different calendar day. In order to avoid that, they simply changed the direction. Firstly, you can see if you zoom in even more, there's an island there. And it would have, it would have split this island. So that's the first reason and then it goes in this direction and then from there it goes to the left by quite a long way and you may ask yourself why is that the case and it's simply because once again if we zoom in you'll see these islands there are so many islands and these islands over here belong to Alaska so once again you don't want a certain part of Alaska on the one side of the line and another part of Alaska on the other side when you get down to the equator you'll see that this line takes a few interesting twists and turns and the reason for that is that there's a large group of islands and it's spread over quite a vast area Kiribati. and they wanted to make sure those islands are all on the same side so the next thing to notice is that this line here is to the right of that line and so this line is definitely to the right of that 180 degree uh, line of, of longitude and the reason for that once again is because we have many islands here and they prefer to be on the western side of this line and then it takes a turn and right there in the south it follows the 180 degree line of longitude all the way to the South Pole. So that's all for today. Thanks once again for watching. Feel free to subscribe, like and comment. See you next time. Goodbye.